Hey Leo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any of you lovely cross watchers who are dealing with a Leo romantically. It's a timeless reading today, Leo. Whenever you click into the video is when you're meant to hear the messages. It is also a general reading, so please keep that in mind. It may or may not resonate with you, Leo, and that is totally okay. You are welcome to take what works and leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal tarot rating from me, I do currently offer those through Etsy. The link is just in the description box below the video in case you are interested. We're gonna jump right in today, Leo. We're gonna start with a couple of Oracle cards and then we're gonna jump into the tarot. First message coming out today, absolutely beautiful, Leo. We're starting out with the message, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. This is absolutely beautiful. So here's the thing. This is giving the energy of right person, right place, right time. It tells me that maybe some of you have been waiting for something to happen in your love life, but the waiting is going to be paying off. The patience is going to be paying off. This is actually super spectacular energy that says what you've been waiting for is coming in. It's divinely guided. The timing is lining up and everything is just fitting together the way that it should. So I think you should get really excited, whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, that something that you've been waiting for is gonna be happening very soon. Tell me more about what is coming toward Leo right now, please. And then we've got the message getting to know each other. Gorgeous. So here's the thing. The message says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So what this tells me is that you're getting to know somebody on a deeper level. If you're a single Leo, the love that you've been waiting for is coming in for you and you're gonna be getting to know this person. <laughs> if you're already connected with this person, I think this is gonna be a great time for the two of you to get to know each other even more. And what it says here is that as the bond between the two of you deepens, the relationship is getting more serious, um, more committed. The two of you are getting to know each other on that deeper level. And so these two cards are really speaking to a beautiful commitment between two people. I really think you're gonna be getting to know somebody a lot better right now, and uh, it's moving in a really great direction. Tell me more, please, and then calling in your soulmate, beautiful. Okay, so that's gorgeous, Leo. So obviously you're calling in some beautiful energy here. I feel like with this message and with the message worth waiting for, there's a very strong energy of manifestation surrounding your love life right now. Like I said, this is true whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship. I really think this is a time to be very intentional about what you want. So the message on this card says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help to bring you together. So take a moment right now, Leo. Think about what you want to manifest. Think about what you're desiring when it comes to love. And I think that right now, there's an incredibly strong energy of, like I said, manifestation, creation, getting what you want. And it feels like things are gonna be lining up for you in a way right now where whatever it is that you've been waiting for, it's gonna be happening a lot sooner than you think. And this kind of goes into that whole message of divine timing, right? Sometimes things don't work out exactly as we had expected because the timing is off a little bit. So if you've been dealing with a situation romantically where it just kind of feels like the timing's been off, I think that the timing is now gonna be right on time. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how else you say that. But overall, I would say this is absolutely beautiful energy here. If you're single, you're calling in your soulmate, this is the love that you've been waiting for. If you're already connected with somebody, it definitely looks like things are progressing. And if there's been any issues with timing, I think those are gonna be fixing themselves very soon. So here's what we're gonna do for the rest of the reading. We're gonna look more at the energy of this person who you're involved with, and we're gonna look more at you, and then we'll look at the potential outcome. So tell me about this person who is here for Leo. Beautiful. Three of Pentacles. They are your lover and your best friend. They are very supportive. Some of you could be meeting this person within the workplace if this is new love. If you're already with this person, you may have met in the workplace. You may have met through friends of friends. But overall, this person is very supportive of you, Leo. There's a lovely energy of them just always having your back and always standing up for you. Tell me more. <laughs> and then we got the three of cups. Okay, so we've got two threes. So the number three could be significant. Definitely pay attention to where you're seeing that number. Three of Cups is a card of celebration. So you could be celebrating something in your love life. For those of you in a relationship, you could be celebrating some sort of milestone within your relationship, which is beautiful. I always say to you as well, the Three of Cups is a card of really just connecting with friends and family and having our friends and family be very supportive of our relationship. 
So I think that this person who's here for you, they're just gonna fit in with your social network and it's gonna feel really good. Tell me more please about this person. Beautiful Leo. And then we got the strength card, which is your energy. So some of you could be dealing with a fellow Leo romantically, but what does this tell me? It tells me that this person has incredibly strong feelings for you. This is a very strong connection. This is a connection that can withstand any challenges. This is a connection where you become stronger and stronger over time. The bond between you deepens and the strength of your connection is so strong that it's like unbreakable. Nobody can break you apart. So basically somebody here has very, very strong feelings, whether it's new love or whether it's your current partner. I love that. Tell me what this person could be feeling right now. Ten of Wands. They could have some things on their mind right now. The Ten of Wands tends to indicate somebody who's carrying a lot of responsibility and just has a lot of stuff going on within their life. It can also sometimes indicate emotional baggage or some sort of, yeah, issue, something emotionally heavy that we need to deal with. So this is showing up in your person's feelings. So it definitely feels like there could be something that's weighing on their mind, maybe something that's kind of stressing them out right now. Maybe they'll be talking to you about it. There could be some sort of situation here where maybe they're getting some closure, letting go of a past tough situation. I feel like the Ten of Wands always indicates that it's about wrapping up a cycle, letting go of what no longer serves us. So I definitely see that your person could be releasing something that no longer serves them right now. It could also be related to forgiveness, learning lessons, things like that. Tell me what else they could be feeling. Beautiful. Page of Pentacles. They want to give you a gift. <laughs> uh, they want to offer you love. They might surprise you with something right now. I think emotionally, this to me is just saying that your person is a big giver because the page of pentacles is, is someone who tends to come in and give us something. And so emotionally, I think your person is giving a lot to the connection right now, Leo. They're putting themselves out there, they're connecting with you, and emotionally, they're opening up to you and letting you know how they feel. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Tell me what else they could be feeling right now. Justice, beautiful. We got Libra energy. Justice to me, especially in a lovely reading, gives me vibes of justice of the peace, which reminds me of getting married. So I think that this person definitely sees serious commitment with you, Leo. I always like to say, not everybody wants to be married, right? So it's really up to you to decide what does commitment look like within your relationship. And so when it comes to your connection, regardless of what commitment looks like for the two of you, I can see that your person is very serious about that. I also think that your person feels like you bring a really beautifully balanced energy into their life. The Justice card is just really lovely, really balanced, and I think they feel at peace with the connection here. Tell me what actions they could be taking right now, please. The Magician, beautiful. What is this energy, Leo? It's manifestation. Remember at the start of your rating, I was like, guys, there is some very strong energy of manifestation right now. So I would really encourage you to even right now, you could even pause the video, Leo, and take a moment, take out a piece of paper, take out your phone, take out something that you can write on and write down three intentions for what it is that you wanna manifest in your love life right now, because there is very strong energy of you and your person creating something absolutely beautiful together especially with this magician energy. The magician is also like really positive in the sense that it basically says you have the tools to create what you want. And so this is showing up for your person. So it kind of tells me that they're feeling confident in the future that the two of you are creating together. Tell me more about what actions they are taking right now. <laughs> Queen of Wands, I love it. More fire energy, so you could be dealing with a fire sign. We already talked about Leo, but you could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. They're taking action to demonstrate the passion and commitment that they have for you, Leo. They're obviously very confident in the connection and they're gonna be showing you through their actions that they are very attracted to you and very passionate about you. Tell me what other actions they could be taking right now. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, this is a spectacular reading today. This is... Um, what I, I can't even talk, I'm speechless. Um, sometimes I do a reading and I just like, I feel so great about the vibes and this is definitely one of those readings. So if you've watched my channel before, you probably know why I'm excited. So I've pulled the King and the Queen of Cups, or the King and the Queen of Cups. <laughs> water energy which is about love it's the king and the queen of wands oh my goodness i'm getting 
like flustered over here. Um, that cups energy is about the love though. But you've also got this wand energy with the king and the queen of wands. And basically this is like a perfect match. So what I always say to you, Leo, is when I get the king and the queen of one suit showing up together, it's because they're meant to be together. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so this is why the first card that we got today was worth waiting for. And it was talking about that divine timing. It was talking about bringing you into union with someone who you're meant to be with. And so when I look at this energy here, it's basically saying like, yes, you two are a perfect pair. You two are meant to be together. You two are meant to connect and to be in union together, which is absolutely beautiful here. And so this is not just like a random connection. This is not just like casually dating. This is about actually being with the person who is such an amazing match for you. And yeah, you guys are gonna be getting to know each other even more. And I think things are gonna be moving in a beautiful direction. I love that for you. Let's look at Leo right now. Let's look at your energy. The High Priestess, gorgeous. The High Priestess often shows up when there's a very strong soul connection between two people. I think this is not surprising given what we've seen in the reading so far. I think that you and this person obviously have a very special bond and the high priestess is saying that yes, your intuition is telling you that there is something really beautiful here between the two of you. Tell me more, please. And then we've got the moon. This is about the mystery, the subconscious. I feel like there's something that's almost unspoken in the connection between the two of you. The way that I'm feeling the moon energy within this reading is that there's this undeniable draw and this undeniable connection between the two of you. And it's like you, like, you might not be able to put it into words, Leo, and they might not be able to put it into words. Like there's just something about the connection here with the two of you where it's almost like you can't quite articulate what it is, but both of you just know that there is something very special. And the moon can represent like things that are hidden in the depth of feelings. And to me, in this reading, it's speaking to like that very deep connection. This is not like a surface level connection here between the two of you. This is something that goes much, much deeper. Tell me more about Leo right now, please. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Ace of Cups, we love that. Ace of Cups is about brand new beginnings. If you're single, you're definitely ready for new love. And if you're in a relationship, you're ready to get to know your person even deeper. This is about love flowing into your life, emotional intimacy, getting to know somebody deeper and opening up about our feelings. And so what I see here is that you are very ready emotionally to give to this connection. Tell me what Leo could be feeling right now, please. <laughs> I love it, the lovers. Of course you are. You're feeling in love with them. It's a very simple message. Sometimes the messages are very clear cut. Uh, you're feeling in love with them. You feel like there's a beautiful connection. You choose them. Tell me what else Leo could be feeling right now. Knight of Pentacles, I love it. Knight of Pentacles is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's about building a solid foundation. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't tend to be somebody who moves super quickly, but it's because they're moving very intentionally, which is what we talked about earlier in your reading. So I feel like there's this very strong emotional connection between the two of you. And the Knight of Pentacles is saying that you are very much being intentional about building that solid foundation and making sure that the two of you are really connecting on that deeper level, which is ultimately creating security within the connection. Tell me more please about what Leo is feeling. Seven of Wands, yeah. Seven of Wands, beautiful energy, very protective. Very, very, very protective energy here around this connection. Like you will defend this relationship, you will defend this connection, nobody can interfere with this connection. It just feels like you're very protective of your person and very protective of this relationship. You're just feeling like you wanna just cocoon the two of you and just protect everything that you have and everything that you're building. It's a very like united energy. Tell me what actions Leo could be taking right now. <laughs> I love that. The sun, which is your ruling planet, Leo. And I would argue the sun is the happiest card within the tarot. So you're taking action to bring even more happiness into your life and into your person's life. I think you're feeling really good. I think you're feeling a lot of gratitude and a lot of blessings for what's going on for you. And I just think that you're doing a lot to make your person happy, to make you happy. I think the two of you are just very happy together and it feels absolutely gorgeous. Tell me what actions Leo is taking. Six of Pentacles, beautiful. 
Another beautiful card. I feel like every card I pull, I'm just like, beautiful. It's beautiful. It's amazing. <laughs> so Six of Pentacles is a very balanced energy. It's an energy of give and take. It's an energy of reciprocity. And so you're taking action to really create this beautiful, balanced relationship with you and this person. This is a connection where you give to them and they give to you. You're thoughtful towards them. They're thoughtful towards you. There's a really lovely balance within the giving and the taking within the relationship. Let's get one more card for what actions Leo could be taking right now, please. And then we've got the Wheel of Fortune. The energy today is spectacular. I always say the Wheel of Fortune is about getting lucky in love. It's about knowing that good things are coming in and welcoming in the good energy. To me, the Wheel of Fortune is saying, look, Leo, you've got a love here that is gonna be life-changing and amazing and like the best thing ever for you. So welcome this in with open arms with this uh, Wheel of Fortune energy and just let the good times roll here because much like with the very first card, which was worth waiting for, this card also has an element of destiny. And so that's a really big message if you're connecting with the reading today. Like I said, whatever is going on in your love life, it's a general reading, so each of you will have something different going on. But the overall message is that there is something really significant here about the timing lining up for you to get what you want when it comes to love and then to just like open up your arms and embrace what is coming in for you. So definitely get into that very like open-hearted space is what I would recommend. So let's see what the potential outcome is within this situation, two of wands. Lots of planning and preparation for the future. This is gonna be a time, you guys, where you're gonna having, be having a lot of big conversations about the next step. The two of wands is like, you know what? We're serious, we're committed. Let's talk about what the future is bringing in for us. This is a lovely energy where you actually just kind of sit down and start talking through the life that you're building together. What is that gonna look like? Where do you see yourselves going? To me, the two of wands in a reading where we have this absolutely beautiful energy, it's about creating that shared vision of where you are headed next. It's about those collaborative conversations where you share about your dreams, your goals, your visions, you hear from each other, you listen, you ask questions, and you start to weave together this beautiful vision of where you see the relationship heading in the future. So honestly, Leo, everything that I can see today is just beautiful and it's speaking of an amazing connection and I think that you're just being encouraged to open your heart. Like I said, if you're single, it's definitely new love coming in and it's because the timing is right. The timing is lining up now to bring this energy into your life. And if you're already with this person, just keep that good energy going because I think you guys are obviously heading in a beautiful direction. And I think you know that if you're connecting with this reading and just be prepared to be having some big conversations about where the relationship is headed next and getting really excited about it. So I'm gonna leave it there for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, you can do so through Etsy. The link is in the description box below the video. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.